Diane Whipple had a luminous future ahead of her living in a Pacific Heights apartment building and coaching lacrosse at St. Mary's University. Her neighbors, Marjorie Noller and Robert Noel, were San Francisco attorneys and caretakers for two ferocious 150-pound Presna Canero dogs. The animals were owned by two prisoners serving life sentences as part of an illegal dog-fighting enterprise. The tangled relationship between the lawyers and one of the inmates would stir later gossip. On January 26, 2001, Whipple returned home with a bag of groceries to her sixth-floor apartment. Marjorie Noller was walking the dogs up to the rooftop for exercise. She and Noel had been frequently warned about the dangers in the past, and they'd responded with disdain. The dog spotted Whipple and launched upon an unrestrained attack. She had no chance to defend herself in the constricted hallway, dying from 77 wounds. Noller would be convicted of second-degree murder. Noel would serve only four years before his release because he displayed remorse. The case became a landmark in the potential liability for pet owners of vicious animals.